Hello, this is Erica with Launching Legacies. Welcome to our daily devotional. Today we are continuing our devotional series on surviving from surviving to thriving. Yesterday we talked about what it was like to just be surviving in the world and realize that we needed something greater than what we had. And for me, realizing I needed something greater than what I had meant, I started to cling to religion. And although religion seemed like... Um, a good place to go because religion is intended to kind of lead us to an understanding of Christ. What we find is um, that religion in itself as an or organization or structure is a little bit, um, is flawed, not just a little bit flawed, it's flawed because human beings are running um, religious order and religious structure. And so we should be careful not to think that our hope would be in organized religion. So today I'm going to talk about that journey of finding myself in religion and starting to follow the rules and regulations of religion and recognizing that there was a veil. And so the scripture reference I want to talk to you about and reference for you is actually talking about the veil that was on Moses's face. Face. And so we can find this um, passage, excuse me, we find this passage in, um, in 2 Corinthians verse, and it says, Now if the ministry of death carved in letters on stone came on such with such glory that the Israelites could not gaze at Moses' face because of his glory, which was being brought to an end. It will not minister. Uh, will not the ministry of the Spirit have even more glory? For if there if there was glory in the ministry of condemnation, then the ministry of righteousness must far exceed it in glory. Indeed, in the case in this case that once had glory, that what once had glory was come to have no glory at all because of that of the glory that surpasses it. For if what was being brought to an end came with glory, much more will will with permanent will what is permanent have glory okay and so since we have such a hope it says we are very bold not like moses who put a veil over his face so that the israelites might not gaze at the outcome of what was being brought to an end but their minds were hardened for this to this day when they read the old covenant that same veil remains unlifted because only christ is t is only through Christ is it taken away. Okay, so what are we talking about here? And I may have uh, inadvertently chose the wrong passage to start with. Let me explain though what's happening here. So what the what the author is re is referring to is when Moses went to see Christ, uh, went to see God on the mountain. Okay, he was in the presence of God. The presence of God was so big. The glory of God was so great that it shone on Moses, like he was illuminated because he uh, was in the presence of God. That illumination stayed on him and because it was so bright the people said I'll oh, put a veil over your face because we can't stand to see how magnified this glory is upon you like your countenance reflects the glory of God and so they and so he veiled himself he covered himself in the face so that his countenance would not reflect the fullness of the glory of God because it, it was too much for the people but the dilemma is he wasn't God. And so what happened is as Moses spent a little bit more time away from God, the glory of the Lord that was upon him that made him shine faded. And so he no longer needed a veil, but he continued to wear the veil to, to not alarm them to the fact that the glory of the Lord had faded. And so here he is walking around with the veil on, even though the glory of the Lord is not, is not upon him like that. And we find that I found that in my journey from surviving to thriving, that as I came to religion as a survivor, I went to religion and I hoped in it. I put all, I put hope that it was going to help me find the relief in the suffering sustenance that I needed from Christ. I put that in religion initially because it was how I got to know Christ was through religion. And so it's not all bad because clearly there's a work in, in this bringing people to Christ. But so it brought me though to a place of rule following and, and, and making myself accountable to a group of people or religion or, or doctrine and, and so on and so forth. And so I started to believe in a doctrine and do what that doctrine said and try to follow all the rules. And I wasn't perfect that it wasn't even, uh, really good at 
it and I know some people uh, really find themselves being very good at it when they go in when they come into organized religion but I really wasn't but here I was I was following through this and there was it was a measure of excitement because you kind of feel like you're successful and you're no longer surviving at least not the way that you were in the world but now you're surviving to kind of maintain this journey in religion and then you realize that you're dealing with people and like Moses, the glory of the Lord might come upon them and they may have revelation and understanding, but eventually in time that glory shall fade because it doesn't belong to them. It belongs to the Lord. And so unless the Lord is continuously supplying his glory, man does not continuously reflect it. I hope that makes sense. But if man is not continuously in the in the presence of God continuously renewing the glory of the Lord that is resting upon him man is not going to continue to reflect it consistently because man is not God and so we find that it fades but also in organized religion we find that there is often a veil just like Moses wore so that people have an assumption that the glory is still there even when the glory is not and so what happened when I found organized religion was that I found a place to survive that was different than the world and I thought I was maintaining better until I realized that people were just people and that sometimes the glory had faded and they were still wearing a veil and it was a place of disappointment. And the scripture talks about it, about the people. He said that even now they still, when they read the Old Testament, they have a veil over them. They have a veil over their hearts and they're not able to see because only Christ can lift the veil. What does that mean? Only Christ can reveal the trueness of where we are, trueness of where the glory of the Lord is because Christ is the embodiment of the glory. And so what's happening is, and what happened to me is, and what I want you to reflect on is this concept of when we get into organized religion, but then realize that religion is run by man who is just attempting to understand God and maybe at some point was in the presence of God and at some point reflected the glory of God but may not always reflect the glory of God and how sometimes we have to learn that that man is imperfect and when we find that if we have found our survival in the church or religion as an organization and structure we will have fallen short and we will be disappointed and I want you to think about this for several reasons. Why? Because one, we're going through a journey of surviving to thriving, right? We're not quite there yet, but, but it's also important to recognize that if I've been disappointed and you've been disappointed, then we've been disappointed and we are not alone. In this world, we will have troubles. Even in the church, you're going to have troubles. There are going to be people who fall short. Moses, who spent all this time with God, still felt it necessary to wear a veil when it wasn't necessary he was bamboozling people too. And so what does this journey mean that you're going to be disappointed if you put your hope in anything but Christ? There's going to be a disappointment. So I went from surviving the world and barely doing that to surviving in the church and realizing I'm not sure about that because these people are wearing a veil. And somehow this is not all that I wanted it to be because all of my hope should have never been in that. And so now we got to make a journey in progression beyond surviving in the church and lifting up the veil so that we recognize that, okay, the glory is not here right now because this person is just like me. They're just a human being. And so if they can at any point embody the glory of God, then I can too. And so there is no need for veils and there's no need for me to search and organize anything for a God who organized everything. So I need to figure this process out. And that's where I was. I was truly still surviving, but now I was surviving in the church. And I want you to continue the journey with me as you reflect on your process. Maybe yours was different than mine, but that's how mine was. And maybe you're at the point now where you're realizing that religion is not everything that you thought it was going to be because you maybe put a hope in it higher than it needed to be. We need to put things in right perspective, not to down religion or even to down a church or a faith or a doctrine. That's not what I'm saying, but it should be in the right perspective because putting it in the wrong perspective is wrong. And God wants us to be right and understand what is right. And so in this context, we recognize that when we start talking about religion and doctrine and, and what we believe, that comes second to who we believe in. 
And if you are a person who is in the church and you find yourself just surviving, following rules, this devotional series is particularly for you. Continue to watch with us. We're praying for you. If you're reflecting on a time when you found yourself thinking you're relying on religion and needing to rely on something greater, then you're in the right place because this is good for you. It is good for the soul to realize that there is no hope higher than the hope that's in Christ, but there is definitely a hope higher than a person or a reg or organization or a religion there is more than just that and so if you're disappointed with that it's okay because that's not the end of the road anyway we want to find what's next so will you continue with me we're praying for you we're praying that you are healing living and growing reflecting having insight from the spirit of the lord on how growth is working and we will see you again tomorrow with another devotional until then be blessed